welcome to Bar with Mary. We have a 15 minute deep core sliders class. So you don't need traditional sliders at all. If you have dish towels, that's perfect if you're on hardwood. If you're on a carpeted surface, grab something really smooth. Um, a paper plate works really well, or an upside down frisbee, um, a hardcover book. All of those things are gonna work really well for you. So pause me, grab whatever it is you need, and jump back in when you are ready. You're gonna take your sliders. You're just gonna put them off the edge of your mat. I have my mat folded so I have a little bit more space here from when we do do our sliding work. Once you have your sliders out of your way, go and flip over and find all fours. Now take the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. Take a little soft bend in the elbows and as you inhale, I'm gonna drop the belly, lift the heart and lift the gaze. On your exhale, round the spine, draw the abdominal wall up and spread the shoulder blades really wide. Now keep going like that at your pace, inhaling and exhaling. And of course, it does not have to just be cat-cow. You are more than welcome to kind of swing the hips in a circle, swing the crown of the head in a circle, using the breath, just really trying to open up the chest, open up the abdominals, and of course, get a little bit of more mobility through the spine. Continuing to breathe and not worrying too much about what it looks like. It should just really feel good. One more time, inhale. Exhale, meet me back in neutral so the crown of the head, the shoulders, the ribs, and the hips all line up with each other. Inhale, swing the hips to the left and bring your gaze towards your left hip bone. And then switch sides, hips to the right, bring your gaze to the right, and you're just swinging the hips from side to side. You can turn your gaze if it feels good, or if you'd rather just keep your head right in the center and swing the hips, you can totally do that. Opening up a little bit more into the side body and still creating that mobility through the spine. Fast or slow does not matter at all. Take four more breaths here. If you'd like to go back to that circling, feel free to do that. One more big inhale, big exhale. Find your way back to your neutral position. Again, press down through all 10 fingers. Squeeze the thumbs in towards center, tuck your toes. So without changing the shape of your spine, go ahead and hover your knees just about two inches up and off of your mat so you're in your bare plank. Now, as soon as your knees lifted, did your rib cage arch open? Go ahead and hug the front low ribs in and draw them up towards the ceiling. So you're really strong through the whole front line of the body. Inhale, breathe the tips of the ears forward. And as you exhale, feel the sides of the waist wrap in towards the belly button. Really strong here through the abdominals and creating nice long length through the entire spine. You're gonna hold it here just for four more seconds. It's three, it's two. Lift the hips high, downward dog. Feel free to pedal through the feet, swinging the hips from side to side. Big breath in, big breath out. Tap your knees down. Then go ahead and lay back on your back. Bring your feet onto your sliders. So one foot on either slider here. Lay all the way back, letting your head rest on your mat. And take a moment to bring your hands to your ribs. Take an inhale here. Exhale, hug the ribs in. And draw them down towards the mat. So you're not going to let the rib cage flare open and the low back arch here. You're going to keep the ribs wrapping in. Keep the hip bones wrapping in and maintain a nice neutral position through your low back. So you're not allowing yourself to arch up as your legs extend away from you. Take a big inhale. And on your exhale, we're going to slide your left leg out. Inhale, bring it in. Switch, right leg out. Inhale in. And exhale out, continuing to switch legs and maybe closing your eyes. So this is by far the most simple and I don't want to say easiest variation, <laughs> but I would say the most simple and the most calm variation. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so it's a great opportunity to really check in with your engagement. As your leg extends, you want to feel the sides of the waist hug in. You want to feel the pubic bone 
drawing up towards the belly button. And on that exhale, really squeeze your sits bones together. Four more like that. Go four. Three. Two. Hold that right leg in. Take a good big breath in. As you exhale, both legs slide out. Both legs slide in. Both legs slide out. Both legs slide in. So you can always keep your hands on your abdominals here as a little reminder to stay engaged. If that's causing tension in your shoulders, go ahead and just relax your arms at your side. Exhale, exhale, extend it out. Inhale, draw it in. Belly button is drawing down. Hip points are hugging in. And every exhale, your sits bones are squeezing in as your pelvic floor draws up. Two more. And in. The last one goes out. And in. Now I want you to exhale, send your legs long. Keep the length in your legs and bring the hands back behind the head for a little bit of neck support. Inhale here. Exhale, curl it up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, curl. Now notice if you're squeezing your quadriceps. See if you can relax your quadriceps just a little bit here and really focus on drawing the ribcage down, the abdominals in and up to help you curl your shoulder blades off the mat. Four more, exhale, you curl. Inhale, you lengthen. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen, two more. And in, now I shall hold that curl up. Take a moment here, keep the elbow tips in your peripheral vision, but press your head back into your hands like a little hammock so your neck is nice and soft. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, feel the hip points hug in as if they're trying to tap in the midline of your body. Feel that deep core engagement. Inhale, lower down. Now take that right elbow and twist it towards the left hip. Inhale, lower. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lower. Exhale, twist. So I cued the elbow here, but realistically what you want to feel is your right bottom rib wrapping towards your left hip bone. So you're not twisting from the shoulders, but you're twisting through the obliques. So we're starting to tap into that side body work. Four more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, you twist. Now at any point if this is uncomfortable for you in your hips, you're more than welcome to bend the knees and soften the thighs just a little bit. Last one, I want you to hold that curl, pull the right knee, excuse me, left knee in. Left leg extends. Go, left knee draws in, left leg extends. So here you're twisting right oblique toward left hip bone. And you're trying to curl your left shoulder blade higher off of your mat. Remind yourself to press your head back into the hammock of your hands just to soften the neck. Two more. And reach. Last one, it's in. And reach, now I'm going to bend that left knee and hold it. Inhale. Exhale, left leg floats up. Left heel taps down. Exhale, you lift. Inhale, you tap. Beautiful. So you're still twisting through the upper body, through the torso, feeling that twist through the sides of the waist here. Use your exhale really deeply. Draw the left side of the waist in and down. Four more. Go lift it up. Go tap it down. Left shoulder blade curls a little higher. Yes. Two more. Go lift. And lower. Now I want you to hold the lift. Left knee stacks directly over that left hip. Little curl. Go eight, seven. Curl higher. You're here for four, three. Two, inhale, everything down to the mat. Send that left leg long. Big breath in. Big breath out. Again, inhale. On your exhale, it's the left rib up towards the right hip bone. Curl it up and up. Take it down and down. Exhale, curl, twist. Inhale, you lower. Now, as you twist, it's the right side body that's going to hug in and down towards the mat. Check in to make sure you're really twisting from the waist rather than from the shoulders. 
So we're not yanking on our neck. We're not twisting through the shoulders. We're really feeling the left bottom rib reaching towards the right hip bone. Far more. Exhale up. That might mean your range of motion is a little smaller. That's totally fine. Better, smaller, and more effective, right? The last one, I'm going to curl up and hold that curl. Inhale. Exhale. Right shoulder blade lifts just a little bit higher. Right thigh bone pulls in. Right leg extends. Right thigh pulls in. Right leg extends. So it's the right side oblique down. That's drawing in and down towards the mat. Yes. You're trying to find a little bit of softness through your left quadricep as you curl your right shoulder blade a little bit higher off your mat. You have two more. It's inhale in, it's exhale reach. The last one, it's in, it's reach. Now bend that right leg in, hold it, curl up a little bit higher, inhale, lift the leg, exhale, tap it down, inhale, lift. And exhale, tap. You've got this. Inhale, lift. And exhale, tap. You're staying twisted through the torso. Let the head press back into the hands, opening up the front of the throat. And find softness where you can. Exhale, lift. Three more. Go lift. And lower. Two more. It's lift. And lower. Now I want you to lift it up. I want you to hold it there. Eight times, little curl, go, eight, seven, six, a little bit higher, four, three, two, inhale, everything back to the mat. Send that right leg long. Hands are gonna stay behind the head, big breath in. Exhale, curl it up. Sits bone, squeeze in. Hip points wrap in, ribs hug in. It's both legs now that pull in and in. Exhale, reach, reach. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, reach it out. You got it. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, reach it out. Yes, as you send those legs out, really feel the exhale drawing everything in and down. Two more, go in. And reach. Last one goes in. Now I want you to hold the extension of your legs and go a little curl, a little up, a little up hold. Little up hold, little up. So rib cage is drawing down. Sits bones are squeezing in. Abdominals are strong. You're here for eight, seven, six. You're here for four, three, two. Hug the knees into the chest. Take yourself, give yourself a minute, I should say. Or take a minute. <laughs> take yourself a minute and rock side to side. We have a big finish, but you've got this. Roll over your favorite shoulder. Bring your feet back to your sliders. And take your forearms onto your mat. You come into a forearm plank. Feet are gonna stay on the sliders. Now I want you to inhale, and on your exhale, you're gonna pull the abdominals in and up and lift the hips up to a dolphin position. Slowly from there, you slide yourself right back up to that forearm plank. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, lower. Two, three, four. Take it, hips up. Lower, four, three, two, one. Hips up. Slowly lower, yes. Now as you pike the hips up, really draw the abdominals in and feel the energy of the forearms pulling back towards the hip points. See if you can keep the face soft and the neck long. And then slow it down as you slide out to that forearm plank. Four more, lift it up. Go slide. Two, three, three more, go up. Slow it down. Feel the energy of the forearms pulling back. Relax the back of the neck. Two more, it's lift, lower, lower. Lower, lower, last one, go lift. We're holding that forearm plank. Elbows press down right underneath the armpits. Palms press into the mat. Legs are long, you're here for four. This is it, it's three. You're here for two. Pull your knees into the mat. 
to find a child's pose. Big toes together, knees open wide. Let the forehead melt down into your mat. Just rock from side to side. Seat is heavy towards your heels. Shoulders are softening away from your ears. Take a big breath in. Exhale, walk your hands up and over to the right. Left palm stacks on right. And you feel that left hip pull towards the back corner of the room. Opening up through the whole left side body. Inhale. Exhale. Walk the hands up and over to the left. Right palm on top of left, right hip draws back to the corner of the room. Hmm. Big breath in, big breath out. Walk yourself back to center, gently come up to all fours, and one more time, calf cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, and exhale around the spine. Feel more like that. Hmm. Noticing how, you're, how you feel different. I'm guessing, you might not, it's okay too. But if you do feel a little different than you did the first time you did this at the intro of class, notice that. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Come back to neutral. <sighs> Sit back under your heels. Awesome work today, that is your class. I will see you again next week with a new Bar of Mary class. Have a great day.